so my name is uh, Nabil Harfouch. I'm assistant professor in the uh, master program of strategic uh, uh, foresight and innovation uh, at OCAD University in Toronto, Canada. Uh, I'm engineer by background and uh, well, I have over 40 years of experience, so it's difficult to summarize, uh, you know, <laughs> very quickly. Yeah. But I've done many things, let's say. <laughs> First of all, um, in many projects that I did, uh, even before I joined uh, OCAD University, uh, there was design thinking. Uh, I, I uh, uh, am of the view that design thinking exists in actually all disciplines, even though the designers don't want to really acknowledge that. Uh, the only uh, issue is that uh, because these different um, uh, specialties were separate, they developed their own frameworks, their own vocabularies, their own methods, and so on. And now that we are forced to work together, all these uh, uh, vocabularies and frameworks are clashing, and everybody is trying to own design thinking. Um, so uh, we use the uh, design thinking as one of the tools. I don't think it's the only tool to do everything. Uh, so, for example, in my institution, we are strong on strategic foresight and design thinking and business thinking, you know. Um, so, for example, we did a project for the government of uh, Ontario uh, in Canada about uh, the future of the economy of Ontario in the year uh, 2030. Uh, and uh, you have to design, uh, to use design thinking as well as foresight, as, uh, you know, in, in such a project. Well, the, the most important lesson is the human centricity, as we have been hearing in the conference uh, today. Um, but really, it's, it's the empathy, you know, um, and uh, learning again how to speak across disciplines. So many people are talking about multidisciplinarity, but what we need is beyond that. Multidisciplinarity is everybody around the table have their discipline and they speak about it. But transdisciplinarity is something where you understand enough of the other people, disciplines, so that you can work with them in the gray area, interconnecting. So learning how to speak in this transdisciplinary uh, world is really uh, one of the most important things uh, that, that I learned. And, and to do that, I and, and my colleagues discovered that the most important skill to develop uh, for students is really the practice of collaboration. Because uh, many people are talking about collaboration, but not many I know are teaching the practice of collaboration. I think the future of design thinking is broader and broader use, but not again, not alone as one instrument that will solve everything. Uh, I, I think the major future of applying design thinking in all the complex problems that, that we have to solve is to uh, uh, teach people how to create safe experimentation zones. Because in a lot of our institutions today, there aren't uh, enough spaces, safe spaces to experiment. Failure is a big sin, you know, you are punished for that. Uh, and and uh, design thinking is an iterative process, which means you have to fail several times before you get to the right solution. So if we don't learn anything else, we should learn how to change the institutional structures to allow for design thinking to happen.